David Carson is a famous American graphic designer, surfer, and art director. He is known for his experimental typography style and incorporating beach culture and grunge art into his designs. David Carson was born in Texas and raised in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Before graphic design, he was a teacher at Torrey Pines High School in Del Mar, California. He heard about graphic design through a program that was being offered to his students and decided to attend it with them. It was a two-week-long graphic design course at the University of Arizona. After the program, he quit his teaching job to take up graphic design full-time. He attended the Oregon College of Commercial Art to study graphic design and also went to a three-week design workshop in Switzerland. Other than graphic design, his many talents include professional surfing. He was ranked ninth best surfer in the world in 1989. At the beginning of his graphic design career, he worked as a designer for a magazine called Self and Musician, which covered surfing topics and surfers' interests. He started to find his style at a magazine company called Transworld Skateboarding. While he was there, he worked his way up to become an art director, which eventually led him to create a new Transworld magazine called Transworld Snowboarding. His time designing at Transworld paved the way for his experimental designs. His strange design style was based on punk music, which was very popular at the time. Punk music was very big in surfing, skateboarding, and snowboarding communities. This influence allowed him to create a whole new type of design known as grunge typography. David Carson went on to design magazines, websites, ads, and products for many brands such as Quicksilver, Burton, Surf Portugal, and Surfer Magazine. He actually was the first art director for Burton Snowboards. His design style was so unique and different, it made their small brand at the time stand out. He later became a well-known art director for the magazines Beach Culture and Raygun. David went on to create for many other brands and magazines, still designing with his unique and exciting style. After many years of design experience, he gained knowledge about the industry and took a leap to create things for himself. He left his job at Raygun in 1995 and created his own brand called David Carson Design. This gave him the ability to expand his designs even more and sign contracts with major corporate clients such as Nike, Pepsi, Ray-Bans, Toyota, Microsoft, and MTV. He later published books sharing his designs and knowledge about the graphic design world. His most successful book is called The End of Print, The Graphic Design of David Carson, which sold over 200,000 copies and was printed in five different languages. David Carson is a very visual designer. He loves taking his own photos, especially from film cameras, and using them for his designs. Most of his design works have so much going on that it creates a sense of movement, which makes the viewer look for more and piece the design together. His design process is pretty simple. He will often go around the city to find different types of posters and fonts to use for his designs and collages. I thought this was really interesting because with graphic design you think about designing things on computers, but instead he goes against that and takes his inspiration from the world around him and incorporates that into his designs. He believes that in order to be a successful designer you must have the eye for it and not be afraid to go out of your comfort zone when creating designs and developing your style. Well, I'm out doing a little research, <coughs> you can see. Getting some nice sections here. Um, another one way over here. Pretty nice. I'm doing a little uh, research. Getting some nice sections off of uh, the wall here for potential uh, new works here at the canals. This collaboration David Carson did with Album Surf really stuck out to me because they were able to merge surfing and art together. In this video, David explains that when lines are drawn, they are never straight. In surfing and design, the principles are the same. Uniformity is boring, creativity is celebrated, progression is paramount. 
This collaboration led us to a world of color and asymmetrical balance. These boards were shaped asymmetrically, which means one side sticks out farther than the other. These types of boards are very uncommon, and you can only surf them in one direction. David designed the look of these boards by distorting text into shapes and giving it an overall abstract design that matches the board's unique shape. I respect David Carson and look up to him now because he is a very dedicated and creative graphic designer who isn't afraid to take risks and incorporate his passions into his designs.